guys, Cody here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn off cross-platform on Fortnite Xbox One Edition. So, first thing you want to do is load up Fortnite. No, actually, don't load up Fortnite yet. Uh, first, we want to go into Settings. Go over to Account. Go up to Privacy and Online Safety. And then, after that, you want to go to Xbox Live Privacy. Where it says Custom, you want to go down to view details and customize. You want to then go down to communication and multiplayer. Then you want to go over to you can play with people outside of Xbox Live. You want to take this and put it to block. Then, after you've done that, you can just X out of this, load up your Fortnite. And if you've done all of this correct, it should say something once it loads up. I'm not going to cut ahead in the video. Just because um, I don't want to uh, think you um, think that I'm scamming you, or like this video is fake or anything, so I'm not gonna cut ahead at all, and you can tell just like if you're not dumb, you know. <laughs> all right, just give it a sec. Almost there. I wish Fortnite would load faster. I mean, it's a huge game, so I get it, you know. <sighs> all right, here we go. Oh wait, my TV's muted. I should probably actually it's fine, it's fine. Alright, so you want to go into Fortnite, checking system privileges, signing in, and here we three, two, one, hello, come on. There it goes. Alright. Fortnite, go into Battle Royale. The next thing you should see is underneath uh where it says solo, right there. It should say limited pool. So now you're just going in with Xbox players, no PC, no PlayStation 4, no Nintendo Switch, no nothing. So I just wanted to make this little video because this was dumb. Like Epic Games, they took out the cross platform option in the actual settings. So yeah, I figured I would make this, uh, you know, little tutorial for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please drop a like, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!